How's everybody doing? So this morning I put up a short video about the new Open NIS toolkit and it really is incredible. I'm still playing with it. I'm probably going to spend the entire weekend tweaking and playing and because I know I've already had to make changes to settings in game and I've had to make changes to settings on my NVIDIA control panel. But I'm, I'm really super ecstatic about it. I just did a bunch of quick scenes here just to give you a brief glimpse of some of the, the change I'm seeing. I mean, if you look, these colors are so much deeper and richer now. It really is like having a shading capability with this. And you watch some of the, like when I'm flying around Spain and Germany here later on in this video, I, some of the most vibrant, deepest, richest colors I've ever seen in this game. And what I'm seeing right now in my headset is very, very close to what you're seeing on this screen right now. I mean, my visual clarity is amazing in here. Now, I will say one thing. I have discovered, and I think others that fly VR will back this up, you have to make a trade-off. Either your panel is going to be super, super crisp and your outside is going to be a little hazy or vice versa. I choose for my scenery to look better than my panel. I don't need to read all the tiny, tiny letters. If I do, I can lean in. I fly by looking outside. That's, you know, that's the way to fly, not by paying attention to the gauges, although you have to do that. And when I need to, they're clear enough for me to use. I mean, I can fly IFR. I don't need to have the view outside to fly, but I want the view outside. That is why I fly. Well, you can see here, this is Sedona, Arizona. I'm getting 35, 36. There's some points in here where I get 38 to 40 frames here. And I mean, look at these colors. Look at how beautiful this looks. It's just really, really incredible how nice everything looks. I started to fly here in Asheville real quickly, but I stopped the flight because I actually have some scenery for Asheville and the airport, and I wanted to reinstall it before I did a, another flight around here. Um, but this was just to give a, a get another opportunity to see a different area. And you can see, look at, okay, 36, 37 frames. Now remember, my trees are on high now. My buildings are on high now. My terrain vector is on high. I increased my in-game render resolution to, I think, it's, I forget, it's either 90 or 95 in these shots. Um, it'll, it says later on in this video what it is. And almost everything else up is up medium to high. Um, so the frame rates have increased in a lot of areas for me. And yet I've also increased my graphics quality. So, hey, that's a win-win situation right there. Check the tool out. Again, I'm still tweaking. I'm still experimenting. I just wanted to give you guys a quick taste, a quick preview uh, to whet your appetites. Hey, look at this. Look at even my clouds. My clouds are on low, but look at how rich they look. You know, and, and I've also, because of this, been able to turn down some of the remote desktop settings that take away, they add um, quality, but take away from the, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Take away from the uh, latency. So you, you, you trade, you lose latency uh, for, for quality. But I've been able to reverse that and lower that number. So now I'm not losing my latency. I'm I, I get very good results here, but I mean, yeah, look, look at this. I mean, these, uh, all right, I'm going to shut up now and just let you watch and enjoy the video now that I've spoken for half of it. All right, more to come. Thanks for watching.